Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School. Today I'm just going to show you a really simple, easy recipe. Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make uh, spaghetti squash. And what I've got in advance is um, some squash which I've diced up. Um, so I took the outer skin off, diced it up. I'm just going to add a little um, honey to it. You don't need to, but I do think the combination works particularly nicely. Um, some olive oil, uh, a sprinkle of black pepper, and some salt. And over here, I've just got a little bit of fresh thyme, and I'm just going to give that all a mix. I think this is a fantastic way of doing any root vegetable. Um, and that goes straight into a roasting tin. So um, those can now go in the oven. I normally reckon on about 150 degrees, which is a gas mark four. I think any higher than that, and you run the risk of burning them. You know, I always go for you cook things as long as possible and as slowly as possible. So 35 to 40 minutes, uh, take them out the oven, and then we're gonna cook the uh, spaghetti through um, and put the squash in there. I'm very happy with those squash, cooked to perfection. I'm just going to set them aside for the moment. Um, and in the meantime, um, I know the title said uh, spaghetti, but I've got some, uh, I, just I had it knocking around, some homemade tagliatelle. It's the same principle, obviously. Um, and for how to make tagliatelle, you can search that one on the title. Um, I'm just going to pop this into a pan of boiling water. Um, personally, I don't like to salt the water, um, I do the salting process at the end. And the way I cook um, any sort of pasta or spaghetti is um, I just leave it in the water and I keep tasting it until I have um, the texture and consistency that I want. That's about to come up and spill over the edge so I'm just going to turn it down. So we're going to carry on cooking that and because it's fresh pasta, um, albeit dry, um, it'll probably take two or three minutes to cook. Um, so when you come back we'll finish the dish off. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's cooked nicely. As I said, the best way, there's a, an old wives' tale that is actually works. You can sling it against the wall and if it sticks, it's done. I'm happy with that. It's got a nice bit of bite to it. Um, so what I'm going to do, normally I would do this over the sink, but because you're watching, I'm going to do it into a bowl. There we go. Now, the secret, I think, of making perfect pasta is leave some of the moisture in there. Um, otherwise, the proteins um, will just um, stick it together. Give that a good old mix. Add a little bit of uh, sea salt, a bit of black pepper, a little bit of olive oil. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is add, let's get, um, yeah, that'll do the trick. Scrape these out the bottom. I quite like the fact that they've caramelized and stuck to the bottom anyway. Now I'm only gonna put half of those in because we'll finish the dish. When we plate this up, we'll just sprinkle them on as garnish. Give it a good old mix. And underneath here, I have a bowl. And we'll just plate that up. There we go. As I say, I'm using tagliatelle, but um, you can use spaghetti. I do find that the, the dried bought spaghetti takes a lot longer to cook. It's more like eight to 10 minutes. Um, but there you have how to make squash spaghetti.